Good morning, everybody. This is Brother John. Five Minutes to Freedom, Part 9 in Proverbs. We're in Chapter 3, and we're going to start off in verse 27 today. He says, Do not withhold good from those whom it is due, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. Do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Do not strive with a man without cause if he has done you no harm. Do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways, for the perverse person is an abomination to the Lord. But his secret counsel is with the upright. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked. But he blesses the home of the just. Surely he scorns the scornful, but gives grace to the humble. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the legacy of fools. So which one do you want to choose, the good or the evil? It seems like an obvious choice, but in today's time, people choose to do what they want and when they want, and they're thinking they're making their own choices, but they are really choosing the ways of evil. Now, there was a couple things here that I wanted to bring out. Uh, the one in verse 34, we read the rest of chapter 3. 34 it says, but he gives grace to the humble. Now, you can reference that over to James, and God gives grace to the humble, but pride comes before the fall. We see that also in Proverbs. So we understand that when we are humble, we, we're not a doormat, but we um, are just very cautious and um, using that humility. And even when he talks about verses 27 through 30 about our neighbor, that's referencing to, or you could actually go to, the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. And so when we have either items or stuff and somebody has a need, we need to be willing to share. And that's a good thing. Uh, other day, somebody was uh, mentioning needing a lawnmower or something like that. And I've got one that's self-propelled. I hadn't used it in years, but it's got a Honda motor. It's a really good unit. And I said, well, hey, I, I got one you can have because, you know, but they were like, oh, no, no, you know, they, they didn't want, <laughs> they didn't want to take something from somebody, but you know, the fact that you offer, it's a good thing. And so be willing to share. And especially, you know, if somebody has a need and it, it really helps, um, everybody. And so we, and it helps you too. God said he blesses. And he says in that in that verse 33, he said, but he blesses the home of the just. And I can testify to that. When we, when we follow the Lord and we try to do what's right, of course, we still make our mistakes. We're still sinners, right? And we, we try to help people. And it's, it's really therapeutic in a way. Um, when we help people, God blesses. So if you're struggling with depression, anxiety, worry, and different things like that, try helping somebody because when you help somebody, God will bless you. And it's actually helping you. So it's kind of like when I minister to people, it's like God's ministering to me. And he, it's hard to explain. It's like you could be having the worst day ever or not a good day and you help somebody and God just blesses and it makes your day so much better. I mean, we don't do it for the blessing. We do it to help people. We do it in the right heart. And so that's all we have for today in Proverbs. I hope that helps you. Uh, all throughout Proverbs, he has, it's good to do this, it's bad to do that. And so he shows us so many different examples of uh, how to get the best out of life. It's such a good thing. And then it also focuses on our relationship with mankind. It's like, hey, if you want to have uh, the best life, this is how you do it. And all of it kind of goes back to that verse four, finding favor and high esteem with God and man.
And so he, he tells us in that chapter. All right, that's it for today. We'll talk to you later.